Stanford University. The students from these primary sources generate their own perspectives and ideas about things. We started this class to really integrate the Stanford University Archaeology Collections, which is a global collection of ethnographic and archaeological materials, with the campus community and give students an opportunity to do their own knowledge production, hands-on research with material culture, and actually put on an exhibit at the end. The theme of this year's exhibit is Oceania and Pacific Links. So we have objects from Hawaii and from Papua New Guinea and from New Zealand. We're trying to tell a collective story about life in the Pacific. Stanford's always been involved in the Pacific world since the ocean voyages of Jane Stanford and her kind of cohort in the turn of the 20th century. We have students, faculty, staff on campus from that area of the world, and so it's a really great way to connect the local community, which itself is global, to the world around them through these material culture collections. Students chose what they were most interested in based either on the topic or region of the world. And once they chose their object, that object went through data verification. And then in addition, the students do research on that object and see what they can find out about it for their interpretive text on the labels for their exhibits. I chose the Tanoa Ava, the Gava Bowl. The Gava Bowl is made from the Ifilele tree in Samoa. And so it's about this large, it has like many legs, it's fairly deep. And so uh, the Gava root is ground up and then mixed with water in the bowl students really go through that hands-on process of installation themselves. So we do a lot of training on object handling, on how to do safe mount making, on exhibit design. We talk with colleagues over at the Cantor. There's a responsibility to the objects and to the stories they tell and to the cultures they represent. The idea that whatever they have in terms of ideas and interpretation is going to be out there in the world for the public to see, for descendant community members potentially to see as part of the responsibility that they take on and part of what makes this class special. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.